Hi, Aries. It's your girl from Amethyst Rose to Rose coming through to give you guys an energy check in. All right, we are going to do a 72 for you for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. I hope everybody had a great lover's day yesterday. All right. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. If you're new here, 72 for you is yesterday, today, tomorrow. Tying up the energy and getting the message that you need to know at this time. So it's time sensitive. However, Aries, when you see this is when you're meant to see it. If you need to refer back to it later, please do. All right. So we're going to get a spell casting oracle to get the overall energy for these three days for you, Aries. Let's see. Get your spirit guides and angels. I want you to know about Aries. Passion. Wow. Definitely in your element. All right. All that fire. Prosperity. Nice, Aries. Let's see what you're getting into here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, those from the highest white light. What messages do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node? Ooh, Aries. Mm. Let's see. So, passion and prosperity. The letter P could definitely be significant. Beauty by Drew Hill. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on. Aries, what is the message? 72 for you. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel the energy for Aries. Please block any interference that stops your message from coming through. Four of Pentacles. All right. That usually means holding back, holding something in, holding on to something tightly. Could be too tightly. Could be someone who's frugal, um, stingy, you know, but you got the king of wands here. So, uh, Aries, somebody could want to hold on to you or you to someone else. Tell me more. Roster by Jasmine Sullivan. Okay. What's going on? Three of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody is walking away from a collaboration of some kind. Yeah. They're going to, to get something much larger, something bigger. Somebody could not be telling somebody what they're working on right now. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's trying to se secure the bag here with the High Priestess. Um, I heard Third Eye. So uh, somebody could actually uh, do something in regards to using their spiritual gifts, Aries, it's you again at the bottom of the deck. Um, yeah, somebody could be spiritually gifted here, um, have a gift of foresight. Yeah, but whatever this is, this is very secure for you. Okay. We also uh, have um, a wife and a mistress here, um, depending on how you look at it, Aries. Okay. Um, yeah, with the three of pentacles here. Yeah, tell me more. What's this? What's the message? Justice. Okay. So something can have something to do with the Libra. Something can have something to do with the Pisces. Um, also an earth sign. We do have the pinnacles out here. Uh, first three cards out. You got the lovers here. So something can have something to do with the Gemini. It's looking like somebody is, uh, has made a choice in love. Or somebody has, you know, they're making a choice in love. There's a choice here. There's uh, two people. Ace of Pentacles, okay? So that usually means a, a, a windfall of money. Just money coming from the heavens. Yeah, this is looking like this is what's coming to you, Aries, in these 72 hours. Nice. Could be something that you're generating this income uh, based off your passion. People could want to work with you. All right, what's going on, Aries? All right, you got 
a seven of swords here. So somebody could be trying to get away with something. Like I said, it does appear to be a third party situation here where somebody is taken from one person or just sneakingly given to someone else here. Yeah. All right. What's the message, Aries? Thank you. Eight of Swords. Okay, that speaks of being mentally entrapped, okay? Somebody could be going to jail for stealing in these 72 hours with the Justice card, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords. It's looking like, yeah, this Three of Pentacles card almost gives me um, the energy of a surveillance or um, loss prevention or something like that. The way it looks, it looks like, you know, uh, cameras on this person catching them steal. Somebody is stealing something here. Yeah, with the four of um, pentacles, yeah, it's definitely giving me somebody is hiding something or they want to hide something underneath their garment or something like that. All right, so you got the uh, queen of cups. So something could have something to do with the water sign feminine Pisces. It's already out here. Something could have something to do with somebody's child's mother. Um, you have the knight of wands. Player energy. So yeah, definitely somebody is cheating here with the knight of wands and the seven of swords here. Somebody is cheating on their wife. I just heard Papa was a Rolling Stone. So, yeah, this could, um, Aries, it better not be you. But, uh, yeah, somebody is cheating here. You got judgment. Yeah, and, and it's a lot, too. Somebody is really, they're, they're struggling, too. They're either struggling not to or they're struggling to make up their mind on whatever this is. All right. Somebody is, they, they move out of passion. Um, it looks like they could have passion, <clears throat> I guess, with this other, this Queen of Cups here. Because it looks like they're going towards this, this Queen of Cups. They're cheating on this person, this Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And they're going towards this, uh, this it could be this Pisces, could be a Libra. But um, somebody is cheating here, yeah. The love is over here. They view this person as a gift. It's like somebody is trying to figure it all out, but they're kind of stuck somewhere at this time. Tell me more. This person over here, this Queen of Cups, they may just be abundant. Yeah, they have it together. You know, they're they're abundant. You know, they're they're spiritually gifted. This person. Yeah, this person could do something in divination here. They're loving, they're kind, they're caring. They are they nurture this person. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Aries. My own by her off the album Back of My Mind, Aries. Whoa, now Aries. I just seen the Queen of Wands. I'm gonna put these back, you know. Can we get one, please? Of course, we've seen the Ace of Wands. So, whatever this is, it doesn't look totally bad. It just looks like somebody needs to make their mind up. They need to make a final call, final decision on something here. Aries, I'm not gonna lie, it's looking like it's you. Um, what's the message? This is a cross watchers reading. What's the message for Pisces? I'm sorry. I guess that's who's cross watching. Hi, Pisces. What's the message for Aries? <laughs> Hello, Pisces. <laughs> you ain't got to be creeping in here like this. Somebody could read tarot, watch tarot. They're spiritually gifted, whoever this person is. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's very sensitive. <laughs> Temperance. Yeah. It looks like somebody is trying to... It, 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 somebody is very patient with whoever this person is. So, um, Aries, this person is very patient with you. I... Um, or crosswatch. I mean, I don't even know how to word this, but I mean, this is not for everybody, but I'm really picking up. This is a cross watchers reading. Uh, could be Libra, could be Pisces. Um, somebody is, this is for somebody who's dealing with an Aries. Um, but yeah, definitely somebody is very patient with somebody. 
they're 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 holding on to somebody um they're kind of keeping their mouth shut here um they they're not having to give out anything to this person this person they get to keep what's theirs and this person you know it is it's it's looking like somebody is wanting to work with somebody else somebody is giving somebody time to get it together somebody could be giving somebody advice or um guidance on how to do whatever this is and it doesn't have to necessarily be a married couple it could just be somebody just transitioning out of one thing into another here but the temperance speaks of divine time and somebody has to make a decision here okay so take it how it resonates and whatever this is yeah because somebody is definitely um somebody could be dealing with the uh, sagittarius somebody could be doing time at this at this moment you know they could be locked up yeah but somebody is waiting it looks like somebody is is holding on to you know um whatever this is so we'll see somebody is passionate about someone or something but it's looking like a person somebody feels like somebody is very angelic or they're they're there's something they can't quite put their finger on it's, it's something special about this other energy because i mean honestly it's looking like but it's to be an aries reading like i said it's not it's not much besides the oracle card that's passion and this knight of wands which represents having passion um yeah it, it, you know that's the only aries cards out here fire energy whatsoever well temperance but it's more so balance up uh you know a tempered person or you know peaceful and you know patient and it <clears throat> temperance isn't really just go 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 you know and not at all i'm surprised it's the sagittarius energy <laughs> with the high priestess tell us about the high priestess more messages for Aries 72 for you what do they need to be aware of half crazy by music soul child off the album just listen alright so just listen alright uh, the high priestess please for Aries 72 for you please and thank you Knight of Wands. Okay, so somebody is very attracted to somebody. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it, something could involve this Pisces. Somebody is fine to somebody, okay? Like, they look good. Somebody is very, very, I mean, somebody just has somebody on go mode. Something can have something to do with the cancer. Somebody is attracted to you, Aries. Okay. Yeah, whoever this person is. Justice. The Hierophant. Yeah. All right. So it's looking like, you know, the Hierophant usually speaks of contracts, marriage, divorce. So that's what someone needs to make their mind up about. Something can involve a Taurus here. You got the page of cups. Yeah, somebody views love differently. They have a new perspective. They want to go in a new direction here in, what, in regards to whatever this is. Yeah, the world card. So closing of a cycle. Yeah, it's looking like somebody is getting divorced here. Could be away from um, somebody could be divorcing a Pisces, divorcing an Earth sign. Could be a Taurus. Taurus is out here. Could be divorcing a Sagittarius. Take it how it resonates. All right, so can we get one on the temperance for Aries? 72 for you. Three of Cups. So somebody could be, it's divine timing for some new opportunity. You may be working and collaborating with somebody else, getting bringing this bag in. 
all right but there's new opportunity here now something could be <laughs> somebody is definitely they have a third um Sagittarius in a third party situation here yeah somebody is very passionate about somebody um but somebody is definitely cheating they're putting somebody in competition juggling somebody yeah that's what it's looking like here yeah somebody is there or they want to can I get one for the, another one for the 10 cents please and the three of cups thank you queen of wands yeah definitely definitely look Aries listen it could be this could be this could be um Somebody is fine. They look good. They smell good. Somebody is just like a good balance of energy here. So, okay, Aries. You could be Aries and have um, Sagittarius in a prominent placement. Um, Pisces in a prominent placement. Taurus in a prominent placement. Libra in a prominent placement. This could be you. Yeah, but somebody is... They... Somebody is very very seriously passionate about you somebody just thinks you are the bomb.com you hear me <laughs> you belong to somebody else by jacques this came on let me cut it down though yeah oh my gosh what in the world what's the eight of swords <laughs> oh my goodness Aries. Listen, this doesn't necessarily have to be for some people. This isn't a third party situation. The Ten of Wands, it's Ten of Swords, it, I mean, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Wands, um, which is also Sagittarius energy. I don't know why the energy comes out so heavy in the readings lately. Um, but yeah, somebody is burdened by the thoughts of somebody or they're trapped in their head about something. Somebody keeps thinking about the same thing over and over and over again. Um, could be in regards to how to make this work with you, Aries, or how to pull this off with you. Um, yeah, can I get one for the Ace of Pentacles? This doesn't necessarily... What's the Ace of Pentacles? Because I can read this so many different ways. The Ace of Pentacles is the Two of Pentacles. All right, with the moon card. Okay, so there could be a cancer here that's um, significant to you. It's looking like somebody, um, they could be abundant, but somebody could want to give you something, Aries. Yeah. I mean, this could be somebody's baby father, baby mother. Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, please. Thank you. Yeah, seven of pentacles. It, it's somebody is well invested into whatever this is. Um, just trying to juggle situations or something like this. This is definitely a juggling situation for somebody. For somebody else, though, you could just have a knight of wands come in. Somebody who's um, they're very attracted to you. They're very tempered in energy. They're spiritually gifted as well. Very highly intuitive. They're fair. Um, they're real cool, calm. You know, uh, slow moving energy. They kind of slow to move. They, they like to keep things stay safe. They care about stability here. Um, and they could just want to work with you. Yeah, because somebody views you as an asset. That's what this looks like to me. Yeah. So, yeah. They, I mean, that's, that's what it's looking like. Somebody wants to. Can I get one for the Four of Pentacles, please? Four of Pentacles. Aries. <laughs> yeah, somebody isn't communicating whatever this is, Aries. All right, whatever this 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 decision that they're making or this three of swords that may leave somebody um heartbroken, but in regards to this three of pentacles, this third party situation. Um, they're not speaking on whatever this is, okay? So, yeah. So, that's what's going on in these, um, 72. Now, somebody may communicate, but it's looking like somebody is holding back communication. Yeah. But it does, it, it looks like something is happening in the court system. 
Um, let me get one though for the Seven of Swords for these 72. Can I what's the Seven of Swords for Aries, please? Aries, Seven of Swords. Week by SWV off the album. It's about time. Yeah, it's time for something. Seven of Swords. Yeah, I'm really getting some something here is judicial. Um, what I was picking up with the four of pentacles um, is the um, uh, Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent. Yeah. So somebody could somebody uh, somebody could have like an attorney here or somebody representing them um, and whatever this is. Because I'm really picking up somebody has a case here or something like that. Yeah, but clear on the Seven of Swords, it's a death card and a hermit. Something could have something to do with the Scorpio or a Virgo here, but it's looking like somebody may be going through Dark Night of the Soul or um, or maybe they're trying to cheat themselves out of it or something like that. But it's definitely happening here. Somebody could be doing some kind of research, trying to um, somebody else could be trying to uh, research somebody. Yeah, whoever this person is. Yeah, or whenever they did, I mean, it's looking like somebody's sad about what they what they stumbled upon. That maybe they didn't get what they thought they were gonna get out of it. Whoever this uh, this person is, yeah. So these people, this Virgo or this Scorpio, they could be you know uh, looking into you or something like that, or just trying to get away with something, like literally get away with like murder, get away with something. So this this could be whatever this is in regards to. This case could actually be a murder case here. Yeah. Somebody is investigating a murder here in these 72 hours. Yeah, this, something is very judicial here. And it's a lot for somebody. So the Sagittarius could have a very prominent uh, court case. Yeah. What's the Knight of Wands? And then we're going to wrap it up, Aries. It's just out here twice. I want to see why it's here. Knight of Wands. It's like somebody did something impulsively that then now they have to really, you know. What's the Knight of Wands? The Knight of Wands. Ooh. Okay, then. The Ace of Cups. With temperance, yeah, with the five of swords. Yeah, it's like somebody did something here. Hate crime is what I heard. Yeah. Um it's it's like somebody was bullying something. Somebody took something way too far. This person could be overly emotional at this time. Somebody could have not been using their intuition here. Somebody this could be a um a crime of passion is what I'm hearing. I don't know what this is in regards to. Listen, somebody could have actually, like, murdered, like, their spouse. Not trying to take it too dark, but that's a case that's going on here. Somebody's going to court. That's what this is. They're pleading or whatever in these 72 hours for somebody. That's for somebody, too. I know it went into another message, but, you know, when you're reading for the collective, people are going through different things here. Okay. But somebody, somebody may want to propose, though. I mean, it doesn't have to be marriage, but somebody could just want to take it, you know, to another step or something like that. All right, this is for Aries. What's the message? Somebody plotting something, though, or they, uh, they're looking into something. It looks, it gives me investigators and in death, though. Like somebody's bond could be like a hundred grand or something like that. All right, a divine abundance card, please, for Aries. What's the message? So the letter P could be significant, could mean prison, seriously. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Spend my life with you by Eric Benet. 
off the album A Day in the Life. Okay. 76 for you for Aries with Divine Abundance Oracle because they use. Please and thank you. Gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. All right. Divine abundance. You were born to align with love's will. Follow the tale and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. All right. So just be grateful for you where you are. Aries is looking like here. Uh, being the fact that some of this story is attached to your energy that you may have dodged a bullet here in regards to whatever this is okay so show gratitude um you are divinely abundant you know hey so prosperity is on the way for you all right aries uh, that's your 72 for you please be sure to like share comment and subscribe bye